had so much fun with my bestie from Miri yesterday at 3 p.m. doing our DIY that we decided, ta-da, we're back instead of waiting until next weekend because you know what? We should just seize the moment and if we're both free, we, just, we should just do it and get on with it. So today, um, we're going to introduce another DIY that you can do at the com comfort of your home. I actually did something um, yesterday with her. Uh, we did the san hand sanitizer, which is fantastic because I placed it and refilled my old bottle. And it smells good, it's great, it's gentle on my hands, as well as the carpet and upholstery um, cleanser or refresher. And I tried it this morning and it was superb. So maybe I'll just show that video first before I invite Wyomia in, right? So yeah. I'm just gonna show you what I did this morning just before the kids woke up. So if music can be on for this one, okay. here we go. Oh, no music. Yeah. Pause okay, pause dulu. Kejap ah. Kejap ah. Masih lagi belajar, Bani. Masih belajar, belajar. You go to your... Go to your... Sound. Go to my sound. This, okay. Application is it? No, no, no. no. Uh, okay, let's go to your this one, uh, system preference. Relax, uh, Ogaman. Relax. Okay. System, system preference. Sound. Sound. So the BMD, okay. All right. Okay. Go back to the music. Is the volume up just now? Is the volume on the video? So switch is off. Okay. Yeah. Go back to the video. Go back to the video. Which one was it? Play. Is it video? Yeah. Yep. It's on. Sare, kami budak baru belajar. Jadi, dia tidak keluar itu sound. It's okay. We don't have to play this. I can show this later on once we figure it out. Uh, I can just uh, call Wyomia in first and yeah. then she can tell us a little bit more about what we're going to be doing today. Let me just close this and Wyomia, are you still on the line? Hello. Hello, I'm here. Yay, hi. Tidak jadi pula saya punya mau tunjuk itu saya punya video this morning. So I saw your Instagram uh, where you, you know, after our DIY, what you showcased was how you use the uh, carpet, apa itu? Carpet punya cleanser, refresher. Apa bak panggil refresher betul kan? It's a refresher. It also cleans, yeah. removes the odor. Yeah. yeah. So initially I was a little bit skeptical. So when I used it this morning, I just macam manja manja pula like that. Then I I realized that actually I can just put the whole thing in, like you know, and eventually it, it, you showed it. You showed um, in your video in your Instagram you scrubbing it with a brush. I'm like I'm not gonna do that, like the whole carpet. But in the end I ended up doing it anyway because. I wanted to make sure they're rata, ba? and then kasi mm. betul -betul. and it's so so wangi. I made yeah. a new batch this morning, and uh, because sikit pula saya buat so I've got some more carpets upstairs, and I I'm gonna just leave it overnight, and it smells good. So that was yesterday's story. Itu cerita semalam. Today, what are we doing? Today, in the spirit of cleaning, <laughs> we will do <laughs> we'll do another cleaner. Um, so this time it's a. Uh, Something that I use to, to clean almost everything. My bathroom, the tiles, mm -hmm. um, the faucets, um, even my pots and pans. I can do this with my scrub. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's another uh, these household cleaner scrub that we can make. Awesome. And I can vouch for it because I actually stay over Wyomir's house when we're both uh, back home in Sabah. And she uses tons of this. So now finally I get to do it with her, uh, with you, the viewers at home. The ingredients mm -hmm. that we need are... A cap full of your household cleaner, okay. as you've seen yesterday. A cup of baking soda. Mm -hmm. uh, and just five drops of any of your essential oils of choice. So I would go with thieves, lemon, clove, those kind of oils. Alright, so I've got all of this. The white vinegar, that's optional, right? Yeah, that's optional. White vinegar um, helps to give like a shine and a sparkle. So if you're using this specifically for uh, shiny surfaces like uh, your pots and pans, right. for example, then white vinegar is a great uh, addition to the dry scrub. Okay. 
So it's optional, but in my case, I am going to be using it because setiap tahun lah, macam kutur sejak saya punya rumah, saya rasa. Jadi, I'm going to use it uh, because I've got it. Uh, and you can just use artificial vinegar because you're just using it to clean the house. Yeah, but I would recommend, oh. um, if you can, get the white, uh, ri the rice vinegar. Oh, I thought because, that. Yeah, because... It goes with the whole flow, right? You want to make everything au natural. So go with uh, anything natural. But if you can't find it, then yeah. Just go with uh, so the artificial rice vinegar. vinegar. That's the only thing you can find. Rice vinegar, yeah? If mm, possible. Rice vinegar. Macha, macha mm. and, it's, and it's very cheap. White rice vinegar. Oh, yang China. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's very, very cheap. Macha, macha oh, ringgit, this macha this is like lima ringgit, enam ringgit. Okay. Yeah, yeah my, for this my whole thing, artificial ones like like it cheaper. But yes, yeah. you, you, it makes sense because if you want to go all natural, I mean that's the whole point. We're doing our DIY. We want to be as non toxic as possible. Then go for something slightly at premium, which is still cheap, by the way, uh, still easy on the pocket. Uh, which is the rice vinegar that Wayumi had just shown. Okay, so yeah. let's do it together. Bah, bah. Ambil ko punya ini baking soda ataupun bicarbonate of soda baiks ambil satu cawan one cup one cup sorry okay hmm soda i actually because mine was karas, I told you yesterday that my um, powder or my soda was a bit hard. It was hardening. So mm -hmm. just before the show, I sort of gave it a nice little shake. So here we just need one cup of baking soda. Yep. Aga aga. And, and I found that. an old jar, which I'm going to keep my um, that, the actual scrub in. So if you have these type of jars, you know, don't throw them away. Uh, Wayoma had also recommended that you try and use glass jars, dark, if possible dark, because you're dealing with essential oils. And what, what was the, what was the story behind it again about using? It's preferable to use uh, glass jars as opposed to plastic jars, Wayoma. Uh, yeah, you just want to keep the it to be in, um, in a dark space uh, where the heat is not very high so so um, having a dark jar would help keep the heat out as well okay. so you want to keep the um, you know the potentness of the oil right so that's why so that's the reason why see mm. I knew there was a good reason I just didn't know how to articulate it as well so for those of you who just joined us, wow, Richard's back. Hi, Wayomi and hi, Daphne. We've got Serdif, we've got Lim, we've got a regular Suzanne. Hi, guys. So they are also watching and tuning in. I don't know if I had managed to actually put this. I think I didn't lah. managed to promote this uh, ingredients before we went live, but it's okay. Yeah, a lot of them are actually from our team. On, uh, they're from Jolly Oilies, you know, Jolly ah, Oilies. Yeah, because we're Jolly Oilies, aren't we? Jolly Oilies, that's the name of our team. And our bigger team, our up upline bigger team is called uh, All Angels. So the All Angels and the Jolly Oilies are on. So I look, <laughs> they were excited. And you know what I love them. most about our group is the fact that they don't have the knowledge, information, semua. Um, whether you plan to be a builder, which is uh, someone who wants to build this business, make money at the same time, do what you do best or love, which is go into oiling. <laughs> That's how I put it. Or if, if it's someone who is just, um, just comfortable, just, you know, using their oils for their personal use and that's it. So they, there's no pressure per se, but there's always some really insightful information they give and we get first dibs. Like um, how um, Dina, you know Dina, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Dina, duh. Like she gave us first tips about like, oh, okay, to THC more, um, apa sudah, um, more on, uh, what is, apa itu? It's going to be on sale at 1 p.m. So make sure you're tuned in. So she informs us well in, um, in, in advance so that kita tidak, 
tidak ter termis lah macam saya. Saya memang looking out for the THC. The THC, by the way, is the thieves household cleaner. Okay, before anyone gets the wrong idea, because someone was like, "Huh, THC?" and I didn't get it. I said, Whoa, what, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" Like THC, you know what THC is, right? And I said, "Yeah, thieves household cleaner." And she said, "No, it, it's THC which makes you high. It's marijuana." I'm like, "Oh, really? I didn't know that, sir." So yeah, just in case some people think this is tasty. Yeah, and then um, you you know that we have lots of um, people who are we have doctors, pharmacists who are in our group as well. So yeah. uh, we always run to them, you know, if we want to know because you you know essential oils are not pharmaceutical stuff. Right. So it's not medicine. Yeah. It's just stuff that we use to um, support our body system. Things that we can do outside of the normal medicine that we take. So um, yeah, we do have a great support group. We we have professionals in there as well who tidak kedekut lah. When we ask like, eh, doctor, boleh ka I take this when I have this? So yeah. Kau tidak rasa malu ba mau tanya kan macam i. Saya rasa budu mau tanya. Tapi saya tidak rasa budu mau tanya yang budu budu yang simple simple questions yang doy, you know. So I love our group. I really really love and appreciate our group. Okay, so mine is done. I was gonna put okay. it in a jar, but I realized I was making a mess. So I'll do it later on. So I'm just gonna so you, put it here first. You put your THC inside, your capful of THC, and okay. your one capful of THC, and five drops of any essential oils of choice. What do you normally use? Um, it depends. So, macam today, I think I wanna scrub the toilet can, and it smells toilet lah. <laughs> bau kincing, bau entah apa lah. So, I like to put lemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, lemon or purification is another one that's good to get rid of smells. Oh, I've got purification. Weird I've got smell. Instead. Yeah, so lemon or purification so, is great for the toilet. Budak. I mean, saying that, I remember being a teenager, a kid once, and I don't remember my toilet smelling the way my kids toilet smell, but bau lain macam dia punya bau tu. And from one bus, you know, like, I don't want to stereotype, but I am. I am assuming that if you're a girl, especially if you're a girl, you would be more, you know, sensitive with the hygiene and the smell of your bathroom, especially, especially if you masuk keluar masuk. Eh, setiap girls ni punya bau tu bathroom. Setiap marah drang, I asked them to scrub their bathroom that day. So maybe yeah, I'm gonna let me see if I have purification here with me because my DIY room is actually upstairs, but I move things around just so that I can. Ah, I do have it here. Awesome. What I do is I actually have um, some of my most essential oils, which Wyoming and I will be sharing in just a bit, um, at one floor. So I've got one near my bath, my, my bedroom, so that I don't have to go all the way downstairs, and one in my office, so that I've got one that I can share on this level. So I have to turn it on, I have to turn it on. And I have it like, no excuse, like all my essential ones. And when I say essential, it's because uh, as our topic, punya title indicates, there are about how many in Young Living oils, B? It's about more than 200 wow. essential oils, including... Um, the blends, you mean? Blends, yeah. And again, someone did ask me, they DM me the other day and they said, you know, there's another brand, um, the biggest competitor for Young Living, um, and I'm a member for both, or was, but I prefer Young Living purely because I've got a very good support system, uh, Wyoming being one of them who, you know, is my best friend, so I trust her judgment. And another reason is because... Um, they've got more choices in that sense and i think because i personally know my upline uh Wyoming personally knows and vouches for those who actually have gone to the farms so they have seen the farms it's not as if much um uh, you know if you you can read it all about it there's loads of articles on the net that states where you know people will call and then much um you know a particular brand and much um when they ask Where's your farm? Macam drama, macam uh, 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 something like that. Can be macam mana getaway? Yeah, well, I have you know um, emailed a couple of companies that uh, they claim that their their uh, essential oils that they use in whatever it is that they're selling is 
the best and yeah. so I just email lah. Usually I would email just oh, you've oh done yeah, it personally. really. It's not like I, I I do I do I do email them and I'll I'll, I'll ask them like, um, do you know exactly which farm it's from? Right. And so far I've sent about two or three. None of them have emailed me back. You know, it was just such a simple question. I want to know where your farm is. Yeah. Satu saja, and itu pun tidak akan jawab. But but you know what? Essential oils are not really regulated per se because um, FDA um, looks at essential oil as aromatics, so macam perfume. Yeah. So nobody will in FDA really regulates it. So it's it's normal in business for every company to go out there and say mine is the best. Correct. Uh, and it's up to you, the consumer, to to see for yourself or to make that your own judgment on which company you want to buy from regardless if if they're having a an MLM model of business or if it's a you know on the shelf type of business it's it's your prerogative lah. correct and then um, to me i think the best way to make that decision is macam just take the peppermint. Peppermint you can get here in Malaysia, kan? Yeah. You get the peppermint, you crush it, you smell it, and then you get the essential oil that you want to use, smell it, and then make that um, judgment. Does it smell very, very close to each other? Is it very close to nature? Because the best company would not want to produce oil just to make it smell nice. Yeah. They want to produce oil because it's the oil that comes from the plant. Correct. not to please our senses. So um, if you ever find a company that that does that, mm-hmm. that produces oil because it's, it's the most um, authentic oil, then go for that company. It depends on, I, I can't tell you what it is, but for me personally and for you, uh, Pon, yeah. I know that uh, we've gone for Young Living because and it's And that's authentic. just it, you know, I yeah. mean, I'm in the industry where I'm giving a lot of freebies, uh, which include also essential oils, as well as fragrances. But ever since I've started, you know, this journey of, and I'm saying this, I'm not a builder per se. Um, I just enjoy, I just love, love, love my oils. So, you know, there's no hidden agenda here. But let me just tell you audience out there who are probably watching, as someone in the industry who gets all these freebies as well as fragrances once you start finding like I, I've grown to love Young Living kalau kau bau tu perfume terlampau kuat ba saya boleh muntah like even if you know those car refreshers that they have in um, e-hailing services and the grab or, or any taxis like that kalau terlampau kuat saya boleh terpaning ba I just cannot take it anymore anything that is synthetic or too fragrant yang macam yang palsu punya i get really really off and really really ill it's just like that so i don't i don't use perfumes anymore i make my own fragrances using my oils uh, as well as my vco or virgin coconut oil and and that's enough for me and it's 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 one year first kan saya tanya juga saya sabo by husband saya bilang now i don't use ba um any perfume or whatever i just roll on my essential oils and he he said did i juga okay did, okay ni because he's i'm so used to dulu ada banyak perfume kan but now i can't i can't so all my perfumes i've given away because tidak mau sayang juga so i've given them away people who do appreciate those perfumes and now i'm just happy with my roll-ons which maybe we should do a diy on one day yeah it's a personal choice but for me it was really um, a wake-up call i needed to do something i went through a, like a health crisis Maybe right. that's a topic for another day, but it it has helped me. So going natural, uh, removing as uh, we can't remove every every toxin uh, in the world because yeah. it's it's there in the air, it's there when we go out. But at least inside your own home, um, you are in control. So Absolutely. getting rid of all those as many as much toxic from my home as possible, that has really helped me. So maybe we'll talk about that another day. We should, we should definitely mm. talk about it. So I've got Mona my... Oh. The Mona, oh, the Mona. Who is that? Mona oh, there you go. Faye, okay, so Faye is um, 
part of our group. He's our, she's one of our seafoods, in fact. Uh, Wayo Daphne, you too can visit the Mona Farm next year. What's the Mona Farm? Mona Farm is our farm in um, US. Can oh, we there go you go. In? Sorry. See, I'm learning slowly, slowly. Catch the monkey. We See, as we belong Mona Fendi, I'm like, I don't think Mona Fendi nah. would have oh. an oil thingy. Ta da! It is done! Yay! Wait, let me just Yay. try and get it on screen. I've done mine too. So, how do you, what do you do? So, you use it like that ordinary, uh, macam, kira macam jif lah, bahkan macam. Macam jif lah, like you sprinkle and then you, ch -ch 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 -ch, you scrub. Uh, to ah. and the good and the good thing is making your own mm -hmm. because I've got older children like that one. Yeah, hi, and um, yeah, and I want them to help around at home. Yeah. So if you make your own kind, and I I let them use all these stuff to clean the house. It much up at least I feel uh, there's a piece. Uh, I got I get a peace of mind because um, okay. they're not they're not touching anything toxic. Okay, How long? Let me let me be the judge of that. Let me smell this. Come you on, what's this? Okay. What's this crap? No, but normally, it, like you leave it overnight. Like yesterday, the, remember the carpet? Uh, it smells like red oson. You refreshing. know the the vitamin red or something that we uh, you drink. I don't know. Is that that? And this is you gonna what scrub over the jamban? like the the kitchen counter. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do that later on. For the jumper and all that, huh? The sink, the sink, your pots and pans. No. Oh shoot, it, I forgot to put my vinegar. Nanti lah put. Ah. So the difference that I buy this at Giant and this, what's the difference? You tell me first. Alamak, lupa. Giant will put preservative, they put fillers. Okay, so um, fillers like on Rosemar's face. Oh my god. They, they, they don't use the authentic essential oil. You know, it, it say, they say, oh it's lemon scented. Tapi it's all... Bullshit. Not the real lemon. So I'm just adding in another two tablespoons of white vinegar. Then I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna use it tomorrow. How many? Uh, or how long? Use? How long do I wait before I can actually use it? Yeah, you can use it straight away. Oh, really? Yeah. Because like yesterday, when I left the carpet uh, uh, refresher for a night, baru keluar ba de punya smell. Yeah, but that's for the carpet. But this one is like you want to kiss us. What's what's that word? Ah? That is a Kadazan word. It's a, like you want to brush. Oh, you want to brush it off, right? So you, just, you can just use it. But you know, know if you that have that any, uh, like let's say you have a burnt pot, for example, right? Um, you may want to leave like a paste, the paste, on the burnt surface, uh, overnight, um, and then go back the next morning to really scrub it in. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now that I added the two tablespoon of vinegar. It becomes a paste, yeah, right? Yeah, and now it, 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 it's a bit more pasty-like yeah. as opposed to powdery. Just now, we're still a little bit wet because of the um, oils uh, and the THC. But now, you can really see that, you know. Banyak you have to use. And is there a sponge that we have to, a special sponge to to use yeah, it with? Yeah, like your normal, the normal way of uh, cleaning your floor and your sink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just use the same thing. It's, it's, Okay, I it have one question. Provides okay. that. This is very important. Now, what kind of sink or certain surfaces that you cannot use? Is there wood? Like, you know, is it very corrosive? You see, some, some problem with the giant punya product is very corrosive, no? Because yes. it's going to kitchen counter. So, this one, what, what, what makes it so special? It's special because it's all natural and it works. So you don't have, you can just use with, uh, you know, baking soda you already have at home. I see. So, yeah, you don't have to go out, get anything special for it. And the only thing, as you say, it doesn't last long, maybe about a month and all that, uh, just use within a month, right? I'm yeah. definitely going to have business by today, though. Just scrubbing the floors. Okay. Yeah. So if you kira, 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 how much did you spend? I don't think that was that how much. much. I think that's the most important thing. I mean, come on, for all uh, fathers, because they go to Giant. <laughs> how much does it cost around, roughly? I would say maybe less than lima ringgit, less than that. Serious? You yeah. know, you go to Giant, the Persil lah. Itu pun serang bau banyak oh. Persil is your laundry. And we do have that also. Uh, 
Thieves laundry detergent, which you can dilute and you can use it. So why you may have taught me that. I see. I and see. you're you're not complaining about your laundry, right? Did I bow It's beautiful. I just use 14 pumps into my washing machine and it's done. Okay. So that was that. I'm just gonna put this aside. And I'm gonna try it out. There's no way I can show them the my carpet punya ni kan? Your carpet what? My carpet video just now. Let's see if I can show the carpet video because it's so. I don't know whether can you just get play? Did you put sound? No? But that's just it. You see? No, you go to your re uh, preferences. I did, it, and it's the sounds are the sound is yeah. okay. Sorry guys, we are just trying to see what's wrong the matter. Dia punya apa itu? My. So yesterday while you're oh, there you go. is a carpet upholstery refresher. That's so essential oil. But I can't be asked to use this. Yeah. 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 And um, what's happening? So I'm just yeah. gonna sprinkle this all over the carpet and no. my. Oh, I know what happened because there's two of them. For an hour. So. I have to open this right and then start again. Okay. So yesterday, Wyomia and I made a carpet upholstery refresher using the carbonate soda, lavender essential oil, as well as Thieves Cleaner. And I'm going to try it out. If you follow her Instagram, you will see how she did it. Like she'll sprinkle a bit and then she brushes it. Okay. And then what she does is. Vacuum the excess away. But I can't be asked to do this like the whole way through. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over the carpet and my couch. And then I'm just gonna leave it for an hour just before the kids wake up. And then I'll vacuum it away. Sounds good? Good. This is where the kids normally play. Oh you so I put there, Mama. <laughs> I sprinkled it around the, the licks. Not table really, area. It's just you know, maybe I will brush it up just so that it will really get in between. Yes. I am ending up brushing it because it really smells good, and I just want to make sure that it's evenly spread out. I even put some in the office where the office carpet was white and black. Now it's like I don't know what color. And I'm going to make a new batch because it's so nice and I'm going to leave it for another night just so that the aroma and the Thieves house cleaner really seeps in to the uh, baking powder. But this is really good. I mean, you can buy one of those carpet refreshers um, in the stores, but why not make your own if you've got all the um, stuff? This is a good workout too. <gasps> There you go. So again, for those of you who just joined us, punya wang in here. I had to make another batch, so I'll use that for tomorrow for the rest of the carpets. Now how we're gonna. Yours? Huh? How about yours, Wang Yimian? Is yours okay? Still, masih okay? Wangi? Atau Steven sudah kasih basuh kereta ke apa? No, Wangi. <laughs> All right, we are going to take a look at the 10 essential oils out of over 200 oils that Young Living has to offer. Wyomia is going to um, trim it down to the essential 10 and I'm going to leave it to you now. Over to okay. you. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, banyak oils in the market. Um, there's over 200 essential oils. Uh, I have a lot of them behind me. I have a lot more inside this box but you're you know, so rich you're, because you are you're, oil men so what's rich. that Sabah? you're so rich Banyak sangat oil belakang tu. Oh, a lot of them i get for free you know oh, wow how do you so, get for yeah, free yeah so um over the month every month there's always a promotion going on wow. and uh so if you buy oil then you can get free if you buy this much you get this, these free oils and also I, I get points and then I took for oils. Beautiful. Yeah, so 
I would say maybe half I bought, half I got for free. So it's really, really nice. But if you really want to get started, there's only 10 oils that you need to get started with. And um, the first one is lavender. I think this is, this is one of the most well-known oils. A lot of people most uh, would have probably grown up with lavender. But in, interestingly, a lot of people actually get headaches from lavender. And, and that's probably because they're, they're, um, they've been smelling synthetic lavender. Mm. Um, but lavender mm. is really great for me. It's, it's not only an oil that will help me to relax, but it's also one of those oils that you can use for your skin. So it's something that I bring in my, my purse everywhere I go, because if, if there's, you get any bumps, bruises and cuts, lavender is the oil for you. And I also use this on my face, in my face serum. So that's lavender, a must have. Okay, next, uh, next we have peppermint. Peppermint. Yeah. Peppermint is also one of those very well-known oils. And, and, and another interesting fact, most men love peppermint. Um, peppermint is a really great pick-me-up oil. Um, Wait, it, is this a sexist thing? Why by men like this peppermint? Why? I don't know why. Maybe because it's very um, masculine. It's very much... Um, uh, it... it, it perks you up you know like if you're especially like for me in the afternoon when um, my energy drops peppermint is one of those oils that I would reach out to I'll put it on my palm put just maybe one or two drops because that's the most that you need and then um, I'll inhale it and I will put the rest at the back of my neck and it wakes me up so I think men like that that energetic feeling of peppermint Okay, the wait, energizing feeling right. that so men gives. get perks up on the afternoon. This perks up men up. Is it? You try lah. I try. <laughs> you try. <laughs> Sorry, <right>, baby. <laughs> Jangan sejak kau pergi letak di tempat kau nanti yes. padas. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite strong. It it's is quite strong. So if you want to use it in a more uh, in an area where your skin is uh, a bit more sensitive uh, tarut lah <laughs> career oh, so I diplomatic see. i love right. it right next yes next we go with lemon lemon my lemon. favorite too. so lemon if you're one of those people who who uh, mengamalkan minum air lemon um you should put lemon oil in your lemon water so if you already have that lemon juice that you squeeze out and you put it inside your water um, lemon oil actually comes from the rind of the lemon. So if you want to have the, the benefit of the whole lemon, you should drink your lemon water with the lemon rind oil also, right? So you get the whole benefit. So it, it, it tastes really great. Um, it's one of those oils that is good for flavoring. So you can, I use them in um, all my Polonaise sauce. So you, you put a bit of lemon, it really just transforms the sauce. Um, uh, again, lemon water, use it for diffusing. It makes everything smells fresh. And if you've seen our DIYs, I use a lot of lemon as well to clean that. And you can use it to brighten up. You can use it for your facial serums also, or your face serums and stuff. But be cautious because it has... Citrus, citrus, citrus. Yeah, it's a, it's a citrus. Okay, Any citrus oil, like, wait, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I but you... I went to Giant and bought a few lemons. Why do I just use that? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. I just buy that one. Why must use this lemon oil? Sebab, so, you buy the lemon. You can only keep for that long, right? Oh. So if you have the lemon, it's always there. You can just use it and take... I don't have to run to the supermarket, go and look for my lemon oil. Ah. Is there... Is there uh, like uh, anything secret that, I mean, using lemon oil as opposed to real lemon? I mean, apart from you say because it lasts longer. Lemon oil is real lemon. I, I see. This, this oil in lemon? Ya Rabbi. Yes. La ilaha illallah. I, I, I learn something new every day. Your I wife has been, you've been with me for more than 10 years and babe. still tak belajar-belajar. Astaghfirullahaladzim. I just lemon you up, babe. 
Okay. Anyway, as we were saying before we were interrupted, you have to be careful because it has uh, citrus. It's a citrus, citrus oil. Yeah. Make it's sure what? Oil. If you're using it on your face. Yeah. Guna lah uh, at night. Yes. At night. Um, and then the next morning to cheer your face, you can go outside. It would not burn your skin. But if you go and use it, put it directly on your skin, like now, sangat panas, and then you go outside, you will get a burnt patch on your skin. The same for like okay? grapefruit and yes. lime and all the others, right? No, not, not thyme, but uh, lime, lime. fruit, lime, yes, lime, orange. Hi. Uh, orange, yes, orange is another all one. All the citrus one, yeah. All the citrus one. All the citrus oil. Because it, 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 it uh, interacts with the sun and it synthesizes on your skin. So, macam kumia skin kana bakar. All right. So, yeah. that was lemon. Lemon. And then we go to frankincense, the king of oils. It's uh, it's one of those most talked about oils. Uh, if you uh, if you're one of those people who read the Bible, you would have noticed that frankincense and myrrh. You remember that? Yeah. Um, so it's been around for centuries. It's a prized oil, and one of the reasons why it's so prized is because it's so good for your skin. So um, Egyptians use it to uh, for their mummies because. Dia macam keeps everything uh, youthful. So uh, frankincense is one of that, and it's also grounding. It's very, very grounding. So um, a lot of people with with uh, children who need that grounding, for mm -hmm. example, use a lot of frankincense on their special need children. Oh uh, yes, yes, to keep them grounded so that their their, their mind is focused. Uh, and, and doesn't run here and there. Do you know what? It's what so, so ironic that you're saying this because when I first uh, got to know about the smell, I mean, it, of course, now that I, I'm familiar with it, but the first time I smelled it, I couldn't tahan. And I think uh, Patsy Wu, his, who is also one of our sifus in the oil uh, industry, che, Patsy was saying something about how the more you cannot tahan the smell, the more you need it. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah. Like, I couldn't tahan, um, but now I love it. But dulu, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, when I first heard that 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 theory, it, it didn't resonate with me. Yeah. Um, but the more I've seen, like, um, there are some examples, lah. Some examples that I've seen, because um, I also use uh, that device, Itovi, if you remember. Um, and and there's an example of this this lady that uh, a friend of mine knew, right? And she, she was saying that um, she was seeing a lot of very um, very painful things to read on. Um, her FB posts. Mm -hmm. She was saying very nasty things, and she was just was just very angry at the whole world. Okay. Um, and apparently, her boss had this bottle of joy. And oh. um, so her boss was telling her, "Hey, I have this new oil. I really like it. You know, joy is supposed to bring you joy. Yeah. Um, that's the the reason for it. So she said, "Hey." Mari datang cium, and then uh, she was saying that as soon as she smelled that oil, she was like, I she she was saying she wanted to vomit. Mm. Oh. So I, I was saying, oh okay, so she doesn't like joy, and her Facebook posts are just uh, angry. So it it does click, you know, it makes sense. So there are examples like that that I've seen. That's just one um, that you know helps me to yeah. That theory, memang betul lah. I think, the more you need it, the more you you repel from that oil. Then in the it, beginning, if if you did an ITOV, is that how you pronounce it? ITOV, ITOV, ITOV scan. Yeah, ITOV. ITOV. Okay, ITOV. You did an ITOV scan, which again we should have another topic about that also. Um, it basically scans um what my body requires or whatever. Anyway, that doesn't that's, that's another on, topic. On. This. This mm. about essential oil is the more you need it, the more you repel. But I need you be, and I don't repel you. I'm not. She's oil. not an essential oil. 
Anyway, again, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Before sorry, sorry, I was sorry. rudely interrupted, and okay, now sorry, my sorry, sorry, sorry. my thoughts, I forgot okay. already what I wanted to say. E -E 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 -E. Okay, so my Itovi, one Itovi. of them was, I can't remember what it was now, I think it was sensation or something. Um, and I couldn't really stand the smell. So I was reading somewhere that if you can't stand it, like you don't put it where it's nearer to your nose area. So I put it on the sole of my feet. Eventually, now I'm okay with the smell, and I'm a yep. bit more calmer. So, you know, as I think that lady who had anger management problems, I assume, um, could have just placed that joy, maybe just a dab somewhere, or put it on a cotton ball, or what? What? You, yeah, you, you have to. Or keep it. In, or keep it in your in your bag. So you ah. know, women have the bags that they carry with them, right? right. Put it in your bags every time you open that bag to look for your purse or whatever. You, you smell a little bit of it. So a little bit every day helps you to get used to that oil and to accept it. Okay. All yeah. right. So frankincense, yeah, it, that, that was the same for me as well. Oh, really? It smelled like My church. Sana church yang... Yeah. Okay, oh, this... oh, church, church. Be because, yes. Macam because you, it's used in church. It, it's used in church. So a lot of people get that also. It, yeah. uh, they get flashes of, oh, I, I was in church. Or Suzanne T asks, can all essential oils used for beauty purpose for ladies? Well, a lot of the oils are actually good for skin. Um, so melaleuca, lavender, frankincense, uh, copaiba I'm going to talk about later. Oh, sorry. Also great for skin. Yeah. All right, so let's move okay, on let's move from on. frankincense. This is number what? No, the next one is number? Copaiba. Copaiba. Copaiba, all right. Copaiba. Copaiba is one of those oils that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, but I didn't know about it's, this. It's really, really good. It it go it complements a lot of oils. So you can find that it's used as a blend with any other oil because it's like a magnifier. So whatever oil that it comes in contact with, it it magnifies uh, the potency of that other oil. So, uh, for example, if you want to use it for your skin. So you would blend it with frankincense, for example. Oh, okay. If you want to use it for your muscle rub, um, and that's the reason why it's in Panaway. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. So well, copaiba is really great. So if you're using like the layering method of putting, so there's a few ways of putting essential oils on your body. Right. So if you you if you you can mix different type of oils together, mm -hmm. make a blend, and then put it on. If you want to use the layering method, you layer it on, put copaiba first to unblock whatever, and then put on the essential oil next that you want to use. So if it's, for example, you want to use uh, RC after that, mm -hmm. then you put RC. And then you close it up with peppermint. So that's a layering method, layer by layer. So you allow one oil to go in first to do its job before the next oil comes in. Awesome. Okay. So that's Copaiba. Copaiba. All right. All right. And then you have Panaway. 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 Oh, I love Panaway. This is like my workout must have. Yes. Pan. Yes. Pan. To Kasilari the pan. <laughs> <laughs> the pen, but the pen. Oh, the pen. Kalau orang kadus kan, kalau orang bilang saya mau tu cibas, tu cibas. Ini pen i see the pen, the pen. The pen it used okay. to be called pain away apparently but ah. because of some regulation you're not supposed to use the word pain otherwise it's it, oh. it, it sounds like a medicine right so it's not essential oils are what? not medicine can it's just to help support um your body so they just did a pen that's the biggest bullshit man that's, bullshit. <laughs> that's the reason why i was like why is it pan away yeah. Now we know why. So, it from a lot of orang tua pun suka ni barang. So like my mom. Yeah, I know. It, Your mom like, has so, tons of it everywhere lying around the house. Yes. Kalau dia punya pen away, sudah mau habis, she would like, cepat bilik saya pen away. So, um, pen away is that great for muscle support. Pen away. This is how yeah. it looks like. There you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. What was it for? What was it for? Just for pain? For pen. It's for good pen. for massages, yes, for oh. pan, yeah? For pan. Yeah. Right. And you should layer it after your copaiba, right? After or before? Uh, after. After, okay. Yeah. So if you're panning, you put on pan away. 
Oh. Okay, next okay. we've got Dijais. Dijais, Dijais is for your digestive system. There you okay. go. So, sakit perut, you know, you ate something uh, not that great. Like, Ellen, um, they did, my kids were so bored last night, I, they did that, that hot, the Korean spicy noodle challenge. Oh. She ate too much so of that. The, so, the, today, the paksa guna Dijais. Stop it. Right. Alien, stop all this eating all this uh, Korean rubbish is bullshit, okay? Don't eat all this Maggie, all that. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so... Sekarang, we, do, we don't want to run, rush off to the clinic every yes. time. Sakit kan? So, we, we try to do things at home. So, we put on digest on her tummy, a bit of peppermint, and she's okay now. Okay, good, good, good. good. I've, yeah. got, um, I've got a bit of an issue right now because of my constipation and stuff. So, just a whiff of the digis helps. Like, I'll start burping and farting, and then my constipation just releases itself just by the smell. So, that really has helped, has helped me through this period that I'm going through right now. So, digis is my to-go also for my problems with my digestive system. Next, oh, my favorite, another favorite. Everything's my favorite. Purification. Purification. Purification to kasi lari bau yang tidak menyenangkan. So, <laughs> smelly stuff. So, you can put a drop, um, you know, in, in your shoes, uh, spray it around the, the place where you keep all your shoes. Mm -hmm. Um... If you bought durian in your car, then oh, spray it in there. Oh, that's helpful, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I do with this? Um, let's say, m most of the time, I will dry my clothes outside in the sun. But let's say if it's heavy loads, then I'll use the, use the dryer, right? So for that extra kick, I actually put a few drops of this onto a piece of kitchen roll, just one piece, so that the whole... Um, I don't use... Um, was this dry balls? Yeah, I, I don't dry use sheets? a dry sheet. Yeah, I, yeah, I make my own by using and purification is the one that I use for the girls' uniform. Which I'm line by, like I said, teenagers can line by don't yeah. bau ni. Walaupun kita so cuci kan ada line by don't macam ni. So I put this, pop this, uh, and make it into a dry sheet and put it in my dryer. So this is awesome purification. Yeah, put some on your palm and then put on your pits. You know? My, oh, okay, okay, oh, nah. katiak ba, katiak. Nah. Okay, katiak. I, that, you know, I can actually do this now. Do you know in Media Prima, in TV3, we cannot show a katiak? But now I can that's, do it on YouTube. That's really stupid. Yeah, because really apparently macam, it turns men on. Okay, next. Sorry, let's go on. Thieves! Mm. Mm -mm. Thieves, thieves, thieves. Lord, thieves, thieves. There you go. This is yeah, it, to support your immune system, put thieves um, under your feet. So just put it in a roller bottle like this, for example. Okay. Roll it under your feet or just put a drop and then... So for me, um, for my kids, every day before they leave for school, when they still had school to go to, um, I used to put the, this under their feet put on the socks before they left for school just to give them that boost of immunity so if jatuh sakit pun um, at least uh, they get well faster which I, I see a lot of improvement in my children tapi for uh, children right because they're a little bit more sensitive you should put a carrier oil right or how, how yeah, does you it should, work you should put a carrier oil uh, but my kids um, <laughs> they're so used to it already <laughs> yeah they're so used to it so after a while I don't need to anymore and um, the and the great thing about the soles of your feet is that's where the the skin is the thickest. So mm. it's it's not going to cause as much pain uh, or not as sensitive as other areas. Love it. All right. So that was these. We've got RC in the house. What does RC ah, actually mean? RC. Respiratory congestion, I think. Oh, that's the reason um, why. Okay. I think they, they couldn't find, you know, an appropriate... <laughs> an appropriate... Uh, Word title. Yeah. Last time, Describe when that. I was much younger. They call it uh, RC Cola. Huh? Yes. Ah, you guys are so old. That's why so young. Last time there's this cola drink called RC Cola. Okay. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Just a uh, fun fact there. Jeez. So it's not Coca Cola. It's RC, RC. Cola. Yes. RC Cola. RC Cola. RC. Maybe somebody's name lah. 
uh, I knew someone who Roger, had these initials, so that's a little bit sensitive for me, but yeah. Roger, <laughs> Roger Chong Kula? <laughs> I don't know. Roger. Roger? Hey, 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 was there the some ex boyfriend that I didn't know of, dude? Roger? Richard? Uh, There's a Richard here. Hi, Richard. Uh, Richard Murphy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. It's for. <laughs> It's for to rub on your chest, lah. Bila your time batuk batuk ka, mm. when you have the sniffles, you put on RC, cium to RC, diffuse the RC. Um, but the other thing that I've just learned is yep. because RC helps to open up the the lung area, right? Open up the lungs. Um, a friend of mine told me that you should use RC before your workout, just to help ah. you open everything up. So I started doing that um, before yoga. Yeah. Just put it on, then like, hmm, like I'm senang sikit to breathe. Especially if I start in the yoga in the morning, kan? Mm-hmm. And you still have those your sinus, you still have block here and there, like, it helps. It helps to breathe. It helps you to breathe. Just I suppose to support. it makes sense because I use peppermint before I, you know, go in for my yoga classes. And RC does contain cypress, peppermint, eucalyptus, yeah. all that very, that that smell lah, that particular smell. You know what I mean, right? The peppy smell. The peppy smell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Use it before the you look. No pepe, ya Allah. Pepe, pepe, like pepe. Okay. Pepe. They got pepe, but they belong bobot, budu. Ah no, that's not what I meant. This is number one, huh? I don't know actually. Last oh. Sudatu. Oh, that's the last one. That's last last Sudatu. Oh yeah. Wow, we had so much fun learning all yeah. about. Okay. So everything, right, from your, from your, pepping up, to your, you know, congest, congestive, whatever, and your digestive system, your immune system, your skin to get you grounded. It's all covered in the, uh, in those ten oils. There's so many other oils that would probably do the same thing, mm-hmm. but um, every other oil is different, and um, people respond to different oils. So maybe RC doesn't really work for you after some time, or it's not. You need something stronger. Then yeah. you go the next level up. But start with RC. Start and with all this is oil. included in your uh, premium starter kit, right? Apart from that, this is actually sort of a brand new starter kit that I have with me. I'm going to just show it to the viewers at home. And inside, um, there's also a few more other ting ting tang tang. I'm not sure if you can see it, babe. Can you see it? I can it? see it. You can see it. I just realized that there's also another oil here. Is that an yes. extra oil? There's a spare mint. Yeah, you always get a free oil. So it depends on what oil is available. And I see that you have spare mint. I also have spare mint. Mm-hmm. Um, and for my spare mint, what I did was um, I changed the dropper bottle to the roller fitment. Ah. So you have a roller fitment that's that you get for free as well. Yeah, they've got they've given like smaller ones. No, these yeah. are not. Oh, those no, smaller no, yeah. ones are for you to travel with there or to go. give away as samples. Yeah, those are called roller fitments. This one, right? The one I'm, I'm yeah. showing you right now. Yes. There you go. So that comes in, and that's quite useful. Yeah, so like pet, uh, like your pen away, for example, you you prefer to roll it on your skin. Yeah. Uh, so you instead of the dropper, you change the dropper to a roller fitment. Uh, what is this one? What are, what are these like little cardboardy things? Those are little cardboardies just to um, in case um, you have friends or family that are also interested to purchase uh, essential oils, then you can use those little cards to show them. Hey. This is frankincense. This is what it does. I'll give you a sample. And then you can actually give them a sample with these small rollers, right? I mean, these small bottles or little, yeah. little ones. Yeah. Babies. It comes also with, of course, the uh, oh, my favorite, my hand sanitizer. And I think this one, I removed it. We've got also yeah. Ningxia. Oh, Ningxia is great. Ningxia is, is something yeah. I must drink every day. My children, um, those little packets. What we do is we throw them into the freezer. That's your favorite. Um, so the kids, like like mid afternoon, my chamni, they will start to go to the freezer, potong, and then um, just squeeze it out. It's like their slushy drink, and they really enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, this is my favorite. I think uh, because uh, my brother, 
Steven <laughs> loves it also. He introduced it to me, and uh, yeah, I love it, man. It, but it's a bit strong, so you gotta sometimes cut it with a uh, tonic water. Yeah, yeah you can put tonic, tonic water. You can mix it with juice. And you only need like a shot glass of it, right? Every day. You only don't have 60 to... ml every day. If you take more, is it bad for you or? No, what? you can take more. Tapi some people, if they take too much, they start to get the runs. Oh. Oh, I'm going to it lah. I think that's the reason yeah. why you've been like chiriting. He's been like mm. taking all my zitnings here. I personally like, I'm sorry, I know this is not part of the PSK per se, but um, because we're talking about ninja and I have this next to my desk, and I drank it just before we went online because I was feeling a bit sleepy because it's my no I normally get an afternoon nap of late. This is the bomb, guys. This is the yes. Minzia Nitro. I've used this for my half marathon. I took about three and it really gave me the push that I needed uh, without making me feel ill because of too much caffeine. Because some people prefer the um, what do you call those? Like those young dong pak minum la masa marathon semua. Saya tidak suka tu. I prefer this. I think this is so much more. Uh, better and he likes it you like it too right it gives you that kick because he's a cafe drinker this dude over here this it has coffee. a bit of caffeine in there I think it it's does. from the green tea yeah it's but the green it's not, tea extract it's not pening ba kau tau kalau kau minum kopi kan macam beli pening ba kalau kau minum terlampau banyak so I like yeah. this yeah yeah uh, Wait, Karen what? Karen used that to climb Mount Kin- Mount Kinabalu as well yeah wow. so Karen yeah. is also a, a friend of ours she's actually well you my sister-in-law too and we were exchanging notes because she's also quite an avid uh, sports woman. And uh, when I was telling her, you know, I said, oh, my God, I love the nitro. I, I was, I mean, it's small enough. So I was carrying it during my half marathon. And I did better during my last half marathon, even though I didn't do any training. So Beautiful. that was awesome. This uh, Richard Murphy, who is he? He is like a professor. Semua dia tahu. Yeah, who is this Richard Murphy? Do you know him? Is yes, I do. Your... He read my aura once. Oh, oh. and what was your aura? <laughs> Richard, what uh, was it? Orang mana? Orang Sabah kan ni? Richard, huh? orang Sabah ke? Richard Murphy? Orang or, orang Sarawak. Oh, Sarawak. Oh, okay. yeah. oh. I thought not the the camera guy, ah? Huh? Itu lain. Oh, no. Itu Severus. Apa nama? Oh! Dia? I don't know. Okay. The Nikon guy. No, Nikon. Like Alright. Alright. Um, so, that's the 10 uh, essential top essential oils that Wayomi and I would like to share with you guys and it's all at your with your PSK that comes with your PSK yeah so if you like to know more because there's really a ton of information yeah it is um, just contact Daphne or you contact me I'm always on my IG I love my IG yeah IG is my cool. friend are you a friend huh? <laughs> yeah you're, you can you can stop on your friend uh, the doctor <laughs> The doctor that you like to stop from London. Oh my yes. God. She's very busy and um, yeah, she has uh, very been. appreciative of the work that she's doing in the front line. Yes. Good for yeah. her. Hope she stays safe. All right. So, uh, shall we end the show? Or? Yeah. So, anything else you want to add in? Why you met Otusai before I see you again over WhatsApp and maybe we'll do this again next week. Why you you just stay online? Huh? Well, Oh, we're gonna test the audio of this. Okay, okay. he wants you to stay okay. on, and I'm gonna end the show. Uh, thank you once again to everyone who has joined us. Most of them are actually part of our team, like Lid, Lydia, No Rider. Not sure if you know Rider is also part of our team. Do you know No Rider mm. Ismail? Suzanne is one of our regulars. Uh, Richard, of course, is there. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, and if you have any other requests for those of you who are you know new to this oil business or if if it doesn't have to do with oils anything if you want Wyoming and I to try out a new DIY with you guys please feel free to comment and give us your suggestions okay our next show is uh, on Saturday on, on Saturday you okay oil. with yes. Saturday we? yes I'm okay what are uh, we going to discuss Sunday. next Saturday what are we going to discuss any ideas no no RDT mm, alright nice RDT raindrop, raindrop. Yeah, that one I know raindrop you know, huh? You like it, huh? Yeah, I love it. Rain draw on me. Maybe we'll find a way to do it, like, you know, on you. Yeah. We'll yeah. find a way. We'll, find, that... we'll try and find a way where Wyoming is going to teach me how to do the raindrop technique. Yes. Onto my husband, live. I can be naked. Yeah. Well, we don't want to see you naked, but we are. I love he only needs to be half naked. 
There you go. Hello. Yeah. Only half naked. Anyway, that probably will be our topic, but we will let you all know soon. In the meantime, while you're just hang on the line. We're going to end the show. Take care. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Stay strong. Stay safe and practice social distancing. Bye. Bye.